Hey, welcome or welcome back to Tiffany with Purpose, where I provide faith-based content with purpose and inspire you to do the same. I always share according to what the Lord places on my heart. And today, this is an encouraging word based on a situation that happened with me today. And I have to share it right now because like later, I'm not going to have a chance to do it. Obviously, I'm just, I'm doing multiple things at once, but everything's fine. Um, because, but y'all, this is crazy and I'm kind of in shock at what has happened in my face. Let me just tell you. So earlier today, I was helping my, the campus ministry at my church to do move-ins at one of the colleges, um, here, the freshmen were moving in today. That detail is not super important. At one point I was rubbing my ear and I noticed that one of my earrings was missing and I was like, oh, my earring's missing. And so a couple of the girls tried to suggest, I find it, I was like, no way, it's way too small. Like, it's not even that deep. It's a loss. Like, I'm okay and content with counting this as a loss and moving on with my life. Not thinking about it whatsoever. And I, I was also like, I have no idea how long it's been missing. Like, I don't even know when it went <laughs> missing. It literally could be anywhere. And okay, so that's way earlier this morning later or just about an hour ago my nephew's in my room and he's like tati look at this and he has my earring y'all it's so tiny and i was like no way what okay and so i'm realizing i'm like getting ready to go um i'm realizing like this is literally an impossible thing something that i counted as a loss i had no expectation whatsoever of getting this earring back and the lord was just talking to me about the impossible that he does the impossible thing let me tell you how he confirmed that message for me a year ago he brings this dream back to me that i had almost exactly a year ago it was last year on august 17th so today is august 10th august 17th 2023 i had a dream and in part of the dream i was handed two jewelry boxes and one of them was an engagement ring box but it was empty and the other one was that one was handed to me first the other one was a um what looked like should have been a diamond bracelet in this box but when i opened it there was a pair of earrings a diamond earring only one the other one was missing and for whatever reason in the dream i assumed that my partner was wearing the other one the person that the lord has told me is the person that he chose for me i assumed that that person was wearing the other earring and it had a price tag of 101 dollars okay and so from that that small part of an encounter of the dream one the number 101 in the greek strong's concordance is the word impossible it means unable to or impossible and the lord was doing this impossible thing bringing me back this earring that was lost or that was missing okay and uh, the bigger picture one the first box i was handed was the engagement ring box but it was empty and the next one was a bracelet box but what i expected to be in it was not in it so i just want to encourage you guys in a couple of things and when i get stable i will come back on and read some scriptures that um go with this okay but anyway whatever the lord has promised you right He's going to bring it back to you in a way that this is not even an, like an out there word. This is not super profound because this is something that the Lord says. Anyway, what I counted as a loss, what you counted as a loss, you were content to allow it to play out however it was going to play out. Um, and because you have trusted in that, right, you didn't try to do anything in your own strength. The Lord is bringing it back to you in a way that you will not expect what seemed like it was missing or lost the lord is bringing it back to you in a way that you would not expect where i was missing an earring was inside of a box that looked like it was for a bracelet let me tell you thank you lord the scripture that the lord gave me back then even for that part where it concerned the earring a lot of what happened in that dream was references to Job. there are other like scenes of this dream but all of them were references to scriptures in Job. 
It's something that you expect it to have, right? It was taken from you. The Lord is bringing it back in a way that you do not expect. What is impossible with man is possible with God. BRB with those scriptures. All right, I've made it to my destination. I want to point this out. Shortly after I stopped that other recording, my phone fell down. And for whatever reason, like as soon as that happened, my spirit knew that the Lord had done it. And so I was like, thank you, Lord, because I knew that it happened for a reason. And when I looked up in front of me, what was directly in my eyesight, so I stopped at a stop light, a car cut in front of me and it had 71 on the license plate. And the number 71, the Lord taught me some time ago, was a number that speaks about divine connections. And I just feel led to add this part one because of the way that it happened. And I'm going to share this in obedience. Also, it's not far fetched considering the nature of what was in that dream that the Lord is confirming that what he is bringing back to you, what he's bringing together is a divine connection. Uh, people that he has designed to be together because of the nature of the dream. Yes, I do believe that that means romantically, but I also think that it means other relationships, partnerships that he desires to have in your life. One that the people that he has ordained to for you to work together with in doing the labor that he has predestined for you to do in his kingdom. He sent us to here to do zero things alone. Not a single thing has he sent us here to do alone. And so he's bringing these things together. Now let's get into some scripture. I don't got much time because I'm already late. I'm already late. Let's look at Matthew 17 verse 20. Matthew 17, verse 20. Matthew 17, verse 20. All right, this is a situation where the disciples could not um, cast a demon out of this little boy. And so after Jesus had come and done it, they were like, how come we were not able to do it? And he said to them, because of your little faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible um, for you. Now the word, the word impossible correlated with the number 101 only appears twice. Here's the first time. Um, all right, so it's dealing with faith. I want to just add this that this morning I prayed to the Lord and I repented for unbelief and I surrendered it to him. I was like, Lord, I surrender my unbelief to you. And I just ask that you, um, you know, increase my faith, help me revive my faith in whatever. My phone just really lied and said it was overheated. No, it was not. Um, the other time that it shows up is in Luke chapter 1 verse 37 where the Lord is telling Mary how she is going to have a child and he's also like look the um your cousin the one that whom it was said was barren she is in the sixth month with her child because you know what he doesn't send us to do anything alone he was telling Mary about this impossible thing that would happen for her and he was like look I'm sending you your cousin who is also going through a similar process um but in verse 37 Luke 137 for nothing will be impossible with God and Mary said behold I am the servant of the Lord let it be done to me according to your word let that be response to the Lord renew your faith restore your faith in the things that he has spoken to you and just say Lord I am your servant let it be done to me according to how you have planned this thing out and last scripture we want to look at is Hebrews eleven six. This actually is not the same one o one word impossible, but it is one o two. But in one o two, it um the meaning also means like without strength, powerless, weakly, or disabled. Um, but it again talks about faith. Uh, that verse that says. And without faith, it is impossible to please him for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek them. So we all, whoever's hearing this, let this stir up your joy and renew your faith in whatever impossible things the Lord has set up in your life. Whatever looks like, you know, you've counted it as a loss. It just is what it is. Lord, I trust you to do it however you're going to do it. If you have fallen into unbelief, repent of that thing and surrender your faith to the Lord. Lord, Lord, increase my faith, restore my joy, help me to wait well, right? Let me please you in my waiting. Um, but know that he's faithful and he's going to do exactly what he's told you to do. I will have you all know that one of my friends at dinner just now just shared her surprise engagement. And baby, it is happening quickly. Well, surprise to me, baby. She knew it was 
going on the whole time, but no coincidence, I just walked into that story time at dinner with the girlies. Okay, I think I forgot to add this little nugget earlier, but it just popped back up on my mind as I'm on my way home. But my earring was found, right? But I would need a new back for it. That was not founding, but that new backing represents security that is different a foundation that is now different so the lord is bringing something back to you something that belonged to you in the first place he is restoring it but now it is coming with a different security with a different foundation be encouraged god is moving things around and i've seen so many he's given me so many signs in so many more things that at this point it's just like i have no choice but to believe him um and yeah i just want to encourage you guys in the same i just want you guys to know how deep this thing is how the lord is showing me numbers i just looked up and over first of all i've never seen this ethanol free gas thing ever in my life i don't come at this gas station but i just looked up and boom 717 finding my business that is all that i have on that y'all better let the lord speak however he gonna speak let the Lord be however he goes to be. All right. You guys be great in the strength of the Lord. Until next time.